Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I just want to uh, show you how to use the RunCam uh, application that available on the App Store for the iOS device like the iPad, the iPhone, or the Android. Um, there's a lot of video out there already that uh, show you the video resolution of the RunCam 3 uh, versus the GoPro session. Um, I'm not going to go through that. You can look up on YouTube for those, but there's very limited. Uh, I don't see anybody that doing the, um, the usage of the application itself. So I want to show you that in this video. So without further ado, uh, like you can see here, uh, just down, download the RanCam application from the, uh, the app store. You run it and then you need your RanCam. Uh, three camera of course uh, to configure that so first off um, on the RAN Cam 3 as you can see there is no LCD uh, screen here at all but uh, it does have uh, it does has a big button on the top so first off you want to turn it on okay so once you turn that uh, camera on in the back here there is a uh, little button here with the Wi-Fi kind of logo in the back just press there and you should see the uh, little green light um, over here that uh, tells you it is on okay there you go so that blue light actually blinking uh, tells you that it's in Wi-Fi mode and now all you have to do uh, go to your uh, device and search for that Wi-Fi access point so here you go um, there is a RAN cam uh, click on that uh, the default password since I already paired it already the default password is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay once you got that there you can see that it is connected and go back to your um, run cam um, application and just click on um, connect to camera down here okay so now it's uh, gonna try to connect that you can see the light is basically turn briefly to green and then back to blue that means you're connected so as you can see now the run cam is actually um, have a preview screen on here so first off before I can go further let's see some of the uh, features here so as you can see here that on the top row is the uh, white balance you can select you know sunny white balance versus uh, cloudy versus uh, fluorescent and you know uh, as you go and change the uh, whole white balance there so you want to go back to the auto white balance uh, just select that and the next one is basically your exposure you can change that using this bar uh, change your exposure uh, that way and, and set it that way okay um, then one of the nice thing about the RAN Cam 3 is that you have the ability to change the field of view of your camera itself so right here you can see this is uh, the, the large field of view and you go for a narrower a medium and then this is the narrow field of view you want to use that so you can preset that through the app you um, before you take it off and put it on your quad so you can change so I change it back to the Y angle field of view right there um, then the next off is the uh, basically the metering mode to where you want to the meter is it uh, Y meter or small uh, for your focus point and that is uh, uh, this feature here uh, next off is you actually your image so if you want to mount it up and down this way so your image will be you know the right side up then you can also flip your image so now your image is flip okay and this feature is right here it's called image flip or uh, auto mode so what that means is if I 
flip the camera, it will flip it back to the regular. So it doesn't matter how you mount it, it's gonna flip your camera back to the right angle. I don't think I'm gonna use that mode. I don't know why it's there because um, if you wanna flip it, you either wanna flip it, you don't wanna put it back. I guess if you don't wanna pay attention of the orientation of your camera, you can use this. So it doesn't matter what you mount your camera, it's gonna give you the right angle of your image itself. Okay, so let's go down to the bottom here. As you can see, you can scroll to the left. You can change from a time time lapse video. You can select different uh, time lapse uh, from uh, three seconds up to five minutes time lapse, and you can also change it to the um, photo mode by pressing that now the camera is taking picture as you can see and also time lapse for the photo mode as well you can select it from three seconds to five minutes time lapse and it also has a burst mode as well and if you wanted to also go full screen you select that and this guy will give you the full screen image of uh, your device okay um, now you go back to the video you can also change your video resolution by selecting that resolution button and you can change it from 1080p to 720 uh, the same thing with your frame uh, you go from 60 frame to 30 frame and also your data rate here the maximum is 30 megabit per second um, that is your photo, uh, your video option. You can also change your slow motion feature here. This guy can also do slow motion since we're selecting 60 frame. Slow motion will work fine there. Okay, you can turn the slow motion off as well. So every time you click on, you're taking a picture, you can view your picture over here. You can also make it a favorite. You can download it. Um, you know to your album of your device you can do that here you can also get information of that picture uh, is it uh, you know 720 or is it uh, 1080p and uh, how many bit rates and all that stuff so you can see that there you can also delete your image by pressing that so now your image is gone you can view and store your image and all that stuff in here from the settings uh, point of view you can go ahead and set your uh, auto sync time so that your device time will be synced to your uh, camera itself you can turn off a wide dynamic range uh, that's what you can turn on and off right here you can turn on your date on your video or your photo you can turn it on and off here as well um, you can turn off uh, set up your auto shut off and so on, on and so forth as you can see here there's a lot of option with your uh, setting as well so when I first got this out of the box the firmware was one behind so it was 1.0 so right now I just upgrade the firmware so you click on the firmware here you can see that this is um, firmware 1.1 so that is the latest uh, of this camera firmware um, so that's it guys so now let's see a little bit of what it looks like uh, from you know latency standpoint so as can, you can see I move the camera around right you can actually see uh, it's not bad but if I uh, put it down here and uh, basically do um, let's see this way so you can see my finger here so this is the latency test but so you know this camera is actually connecting to my device via Wi-Fi so it's gonna be a little latency there there's a little bit there um, with that so this is not meant to do any FPV with this it's just meant to set up your camera set up your resolution set up your uh, video or photo uh, stuff like that with this and set up your auto balance um, and everything's like that before you put it on your quad and that's what this is meant to be so
thank you for watching if you like this video give a thumbs up and subscribe um, and leave all your comment there if I miss anything thank you for watching